Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. And Robert Generic is trying to play the hard man. Look at me. I'm the right. I'm the person who can sort all the crap out. I'm Mr. Brave. I am the bestest Tory leader since Margaret Thatcher. He reckons in his dreams, in his own legend, in his own trousers. He truly is. He's trying to appeal to the real Tories, you know, the rank and file members up and down the country who get to say who the next leader is. And he's saying, I'm going to kick out all the immigrants. I'm going to kick a million immigrants out of this country. Well, you were in charge of immigration, mate. How many did you kick out when you were the immigration minister? None at all. There we go. So all of a sudden, this man who failed as immigration minister reckons, oh, now that I'm the leader of the Tory party, I'll become the prime minister and I'm going to kick them all out. You had your chance. So, you know, um, I think the term is full of shit, isn't it? That's what you are. You're full of shit. But he's got to look hard. He's got to appeal to the uh, the Tory heartlands because he knows the Tory heartlands are looking towards Kemi. And, of course, everyone around him, in, in, you know, the MPs in Westminster are all looking at him and thinking, God, what have we done? We didn't want him. He's not going to last long. Let's be honest. Either of those two are done. They're not going to be leader in, you know, a year's time. 18 months from now, there'll be someone else. We all know. We all know it isn't going to last. But he's still got to walk the walk. And he ain't, he ain't capable. We know this. He's sitting there making these grandiose claims. Well, he had, like I say, he, he, he did nothing when he actually had the reins of control over immigration. What did he do? What's going to change? He's still subjected to the various laws we have in this country, to the European Convention on Human Rights, to all sorts of things that they had the option of leaving and chose not to. And of course, as time goes on and Starmer ties us ever closer to Europe and reverses without uh, any say from us the Brexit uh, agreement, um, it's going to be increasingly difficult for him to do anything now, Britain has got more immigrants than any other nation in Europe. Britain takes in more immigrants than any other nation in Europe. And we, the taxpayer, are paying the most. He hasn't got a clue how to get rid of them. I do. I've got a solution that will work. I've got a solution that will see virtually every illegal immigrant in this country leave. Run. <laughs> like, out. And it's very, very simple. You follow the rules. You are legally mandated to feed them, house them and provide them with um, cover, you know, the basic minimum. And I've said you just go and get some of these old army bases, fill them with Nissan huts, put in bunks and put all the men in one and all the women in the other. They say, good, you've got your bed, you've got your, your, your comfort, you're, you're covered over, you've got a clean water supply for bathing and we'll give you gruel three times a week. And that's it. And you're not allowed out. No, no, no. You stay there while we process you. And anyone who's got who's come from any safe country immediately loses their asylum claim and is returned. Otherwise, they stay in those bunks. That's it. Let me tell you, those guys will be ringing up the people traffickers as quick as you like. Go and get me back to France. Nobody will want to come. And if you remove the desire to come here, then the people traffickers ain't going to send people here because nobody wants to come. That's the way you get rid of it. And then you start going after the people who employ them. So all the gig economy, because you're getting all these people doing, you know, Uber, Uber and uh, Just Eats and all these sort of things. They're found to be employing an illegal. They get fined £100,000 per person they hire. Let me tell you, boom, there'll be no illegals. Not when the uh, the CEOs, you know, £100,000 for the first 10, after that, jail for life. Just that, boom, done. They're all gone, right? Absolutely every one of them. Anyone who houses an illegal outside of the official housing of illegal bunks, jail. Sorted. It's absolutely sorted. And the problem solves itself. And nobody has to resort to standing there going, I'm going to get rid of a million. They'll do it themselves. They'll leave of their own volition. But again, takes a bit of intelligence, takes a bit of marketing, takes a bit of balls. No one's going to do it. 
Because they're all the same. They're all cut from the same piece of white surrender flag, aren't they? Doesn't matter if you're a red rosette, a blue rosette, a yellow rosette. It doesn't matter. Because it's all the same. It's all on your knees, surrender monkey, you know. Not one of them, not one party has ever said how they're going to sort this problem out. Even reform, even your purple rosettes. Nigel has confirmed he's not going to do the mass exportation. But Nigel, you don't need to. You just make them want to leave. It's not hard, is it? And there's Jenrick trying to be the hard man. Screw you, Jenrick. You, were, you did sod all when you were in charge. And who thinks you're going to improve much now? You're not. And I don't think the, the, the Tory heartland believe you either. It'll be Kemi for a year. And then it'll be Boris. Thanks a lot. Bye.